on the night of February 17th, 1864, the Confederate weapon of the Civil War called the H.L. Huntley was the first submarine to sink an enemy ship. The Huntley never returned. A century later, it was found and brought b back up to the surface along with the Huntley was her crew and t nearly two years later lay the rest. In 1861, the American Civil War is beginning. The states against states, brothers against brothers. The states were divided from north and south. The war happened for four years and caused a huge amount of deaths. This is the story of one man's dream of breaking a Union blockade. Lieutenant Winsfield Scott of the Union Army came up with a plan to destroy the Confederate Army. It intended to crush the Confederate Army slowly. Eventually, the actual Union victory followed its broad outlines. It all started in Mobile, Alabama, and sent by train to Charleston, South Carolina. It drew the attention of General P.T. Beauregard, who was leading the defense of Charleston. There were eight cranks for eight men. They, were, they would get $50,000 for every federal vessel they sink. In 1861, Fort Sumter was under attack and Charleston was falling. General P.T. Beauregard seized the Huntley and puts inexperienced men into the Huntley. The Huntley rotates in landing on the bottom of the seabed, taking six lives. Captain P.T. Beauregard pleased with Captain Huntley to take the Huntley back and fill it up with volunteers. They formed a new crew for the Huntley, but without the first captain whose job is to light the candle. The candle was the only light in the Huntley. The second sinking of the Huntley. It became pitch black in the river. The crew suffocated and died along with Captain Huntley. Weeks in October of 1863 rested in the river. Beauregard was unwilling to supply it with more men and more money. George Dixon, a young man that knew the Huntley and knew the Captain Well. Dixon said to General P.T. Beauregard, Please let me take the submarine. I can make it work. Twice the H.L. Huntley plunged to the ocean floor, killing the crew. The mission of the H.L. Huntley was to blow the USS Houstonic. After the Huntley ran the Houstonic, Lieutenant George Dixon signaled that the Huntley completed their mission. After the Huntley sank the USS Houstonic, it signaled the blue light to complete their mission. After they signaled, they were heading back. The sub began to sink and never will be seen in again until a century later. The obstacles of the Huntley was not trying to sink, but on the night of the mission, of the Huntley. The Huntley was never seen again. 
Another obstacle is the Huntley's crew has been trying to avoid the repeat of the sinking of the Huntley like the other two crews. In 1995, divers found a long sub object. It was the Huntley. The Huntley has been found. In 2000, divers found a way to raise the submarine. It has been 136 years since the Huntley has resurfaced with the crew. The Huntley is at a museum in Charleston, South Carolina. The Huntley is currently up for display. Two years later, after the Huntley was found and raised, with her was her crew. Funeral services for the final crew of the Huntley took place. But over a hundred years later, the drums of war still sound.